Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I am going to be drawing Tartalia or Child today, but before we jump in, this video is sponsored by Tears of Themis. So Tears of Themis is a romance and wits detective styled otome game, and it is a three to play mobile game. And it's actually MiHoYo's first game of romance and wits. So you guys are probably very familiar with MiHoYo as they also made Homkai Impact Third and Genshin Impact. So expect some very attractive characters, wonderful story and beautiful art. Um, so basically, you play as the main character in the city called Stellis, a city that rose from the clash of civilizations. There has been some abnormal increase in the number of mental illness cases, as well as incidents that has threatened their city's social security. The many gentle and good people of Stellis have grown to become violent and volatile. So as you play through the detective adventure, you'll collect evidence, reveal hidden details through interrogation and inspection, and you also gather intel and evidence by talking to various NPC characters, but also physical evidence that you can find from. What I find is very interesting and very fun to do is that they have 3D crime scenes, which you can, you know, kind of maneuver your way through the items or look at the environment to find evidence. I just find that it's very interactive and very immersive. So after you get the evidence, you can kind of compile them and then you can prepare them for cross-examination and connect these clues to uncover the truth. So you have to carefully choose the evidence to grant swift justice in the court trial. Every episode is a separate story that contributes to the overall hidden truth and abnormality of Stella City. Since this is an Otome game, it means that there is a blooming romance between you and any of the four unique male characters and you will create cherished moments through their stories, messages, video calls, and interactive games. And through these games and interactions, you will increase their affection level. Oh, also, I didn't mention this, but you can also cultivate cards and collect them to increase the team's power to pass difficult game levels and unlock these beautiful dynamic illustrations. Like MiHoYo's other games, Tears of Themis is no exception to the quality of the game and the story, as well as beautiful art and beautiful music. So experience the life as a detective in the city of Stellis. So be sure to download the game by clicking the link in the video description. And once you download the game, you can go ahead and do free 10 pulls and you can get various rewards within the game as well. And thank you very much to Tears of Themis for sponsoring today's video. I'm actually really excited for Tears of Themis. So, um, but today we are going to be drawing Child. So, let's go into my Genshin Impact folder. Pick out the usual 5x7, and we're just going to sketch out Child for a bit. Um, but yeah, let's see. I don't have like a particular plan for how I want to draw him, so we'll have to go with the flow and see where it leads us. So let's get the sketch done first. Mm. So I have game fashion archive open, so I can see the full body of child as well as his mask, which I usually struggle with drawing. and. I think if you watch my videos from the past, you would know that I've struggled to draw a child several, on several occasions. Um, so I'm going to try my best to do an actual finished one of him. I've done like the usual sketch page and I've painted him, but I've never done like a finished drawing of him. My hands feel very cold, so I do apologize if I, my sketch looks a little bit stiff. I should probably say Tartalia instead. If I say child, I think people get the wrong idea. Child with an E. He has an E in his name. For anyone who's not a Genshin Impact fan. But maybe if Genshin's not the game for you, maybe you're not into really fighting games, then I do recommend downloading and taking uh, Tears of Themis. A look because I think probably a lot of you guys are probably fans of kind of like an Otome game but this one's a lot more like interactive and guys the lineup of the characters are really cool but also I don't know how many of you guys are very interested in like Japanese seiyus but 
<laughs> all the mains. So, if I remember correctly, there's... Uh, is it Ishika... Ishikawa? Ishikawa Kaito? So, he voices one of the characters. The one that's like the cuter... Um, it seems like more of the happier, kind of happier puppy-like male character. I think he's voiced by Kajuyuki. And I really like Kajuyuki's voice. Uh, who else is there? I think there is Fukuyama Jun, and then there is Suabe, Su Suabe Junichi. Dang. Really cool lineup that they have. But not only that, because, um, I don't know, I feel like I have a lot of trust in MiHoYo with their game quality and content. Because I'm a big, big, big fan of Genshin, so I have no doubts that Tears of Themis will do very well. Character designs look great. I love the idea of having the investigations and stuff, like the little areas that you get to investigate and look for evidence and all that is done in 3D. I think that is super cool. So for the characters for Tears of Themis, there's Luke, Artem, Vin, or Vine, and then Marius. Very, very cool. The crime scenes look for evidence in 3D, I think is very, very cool. And I feel like that's not very much present, like, in other previous Otome games I played, like, in the past. Oh, I should have made him a little bit more front-facing. That's okay, this this will work, this will work. I think, I think I have an idea. I kind of want to have his hands in here, show off his gloves, but how do we want to place them is the problem. I could have it like the opposite of Zhongli, how I drew Zhongli, because I think I had Zhongli's hand on this side. I'm trying to like remember what child says, girly. <laughs> He's very much like a pretty boy. And like, I kind of wish... I did summon him again, or attempt to summon him, but my priorities were for Venti. I played the game because of Venti, I shall get Venti, <laughs> and I did get Venti. I could talk about Genshin like all day. I feel like I haven't actually talked about Genshin in a while though. So even though I've doodled Child a little bit, and I'm pretty sure I'll have like the little gif of Child in the the corner this time, like I did for Zhongli. I think that's, there's only a few times I've actually attempted to draw him. I feel like I haven't drawn on the iPad in a while. I think the last two videos that I've recorded were for, um, like I was doing it on the Pizza Sai. I feel like child is like how I thought my OCs looked like when I was younger because I always wanted to have more of a like cool but cute just very attractive male character Okay, let's put on his mask. So his mask is one of the like the, um, accessories I hated drawing on him because there was never a good reference of his mask on this side and then put an indication of the other hole oh wait it's on this side <laughs> I 
kind of the basic shape of it. Um, I'm gonna do my best to keep these as clean as I can. Just because if it's cleaner, it'll make it easier for me to actually color and render this to look fairly accurate. <laughs> Okay, let's put his hand in first so we know how we're gonna draw this. How do I wanna do this? Do I wanna his knuckles to be more bent? Cause I would like to kind of show off his glove. I think I've been doing that a little bit more recently. You'll see, actually, I don't remember when that other video is coming out, but you'll see. I think I talked about it. Did I show you guys my previous attempts at child? I don't- I think I deleted one of them. Oh god! <laughs> Look how derpy he is. I think this is when I'm still getting used to... Like... Painting? Cause I can see I used a lot of like, the addition layer and stuff on his hair. And I don't really do that anymore. Doesn't make sense for me to draw this thing straight on. Like this, and then put the rest of his scarf in. There's been a lot of big trucks rolling on by, and I keep mistaking it for FedEx. It makes me sad. Because <laughs> I'm waiting for something. He's looking okay. His neck's a little long. So let's raise up this part. Help balance it out a little bit. I think it's because of how I have his collar bent. Because um, some of this detailing I'm going to do with the colors itself instead of putting in lines because I know I'm going to erase it. So I'm going to duplicate this layer. I'm gonna hide the sketch layer. I'm gonna set this sketch one to multiply. Change it to be a little bit more saturated, a little bit lighter, and I'm gonna bump it a little bit to the more brownish yellow side. So I basically do this just because I would like the skin tone to match a little bit nicer and a little bit softer with whatever I put underneath. So let's say you know, if you had more of a peachy tone, you can see how the lines kind of interact with it, depending on, you know, his skin tone, right? So whatever skin tone I would add, the lines kind of change more appropriately. Right, so if you had different skin tones into here, even more of a more like a pink rather than that is not the correct skin tone kind of like that so any of these kind of fitting in you can see this the sketch kind of takes a darker color of whatever is underneath and it kind of just fits a little bit better it just makes it look a lot softer so, so let's look at child's colors right now From his skin tone or the base. It looks really bright. We'll have to wake up early tomorrow. Okay, uh, I kind of forgot to put the skin tone down here. So I didn't really think about where I want to put the light source. Gonna make this saturated. Kinda adding it looks more like a like a brown. So it might might make it a little bit more purpley. 
Yeah, let's use this color. So this is the color I'm using. Or oh, I didn't change the background color. That's something I forgot to do. Let's give him a little bit of lip color. Should we get the right hair color? He's more of a light brown, almost orangey colored hair. I tend to get his hair color wrong, I feel like. So let's start off with this as the base color so we can darken it up. Do you know who else I'm gonna draw? Like, who I'm gonna draw next? I'm painting Yoi Mia right now, like, with watercolors, and I might do that on stream again. Revisit it. I would like to draw Coco Me though. Or maybe I should draw Ball. But I feel like I want to draw Ball a little bit later. We'll see. Let's intensify the orange. So we want the light coming from this side. So we're going to put a lot of this into shadow. I feel like I want it to look a little bit more brassy, so I feel like we're gonna have to change the highlight color to be a little bit yellowy. And then we can push his hair to be a little bit more purple in the shadows. I don't think I made his hair actually long enough. I feel like he, he has a little bit more floof down here. Deepen it even more. So I'm gonna deepen up some of these parts first. Okay, and then I'm gonna add kind of like a purple. So I'm just gonna add the blue that is from his eyes and then overlay it top of this brown color. We can kind of add this muted purple color. Okay, so next is, actually this color is very close to his shirt color, so I'm just going to use that. So it definitely reads differently, and I might add a little bit of red to this, so we can have it match the scarf. I'm trying to figure out what are these, so this is in dark grey as well. I'm going to add tinge of red so his gloves are actually this color so I'm gonna why are there so many noisy cars can someone please explain to me what's the appeal of noisy cars I feel like I've asked this before I feel like it's one of my pet peeves so I might actually go back and lock the sketch after and just kind of pick and choose what I want to be a little bit darker and what do I want to be a little bit lighter. It just makes it a little bit easier for myself to change the line work. I guess this and this are fairly similar in color. I gave him a lot more of a warmer gray for his outfit. Well, the background's quite cool in color. Everything else is fairly clean except for like this area. <laughs> Yeah, it might bring a little bit more volume to his hair. Or is it because his hair looks too round? Maybe I do need to add... Some strands? This might be a little bit too vibrant. Or it looks more vibrant here, not on the camera. <laughs> if you guys are summoning for anybody in Genshin, I do hope that you win the 50-50. Or that whoever you're summoning comes home early so you don't have to use milk all your primos on one banner. I'm gonna grab like the color from his eyes. 
So I like adding these to the shadows, but I don't want it to come off too vibrant, so we gotta find something with similar value. For this, so I'm gonna try to add... I should probably try to clean this up though. So that the, some of the highlights make more sense. Basing this off of the official art, how they have the metal bending. Metal bending? What is this, the avatar? <laughs> yeah, okay, so I think that's majority it. I'm, hmm. I might do it like a little cheat, so I'm gonna go and hit multiply. Because overall this looks a little flat. So actually, we're gonna mer- actually, let's do this first. So let's lock this layer. Alpha lock it, and I'm actually going to take some time to alter the line art to be a little bit more reflective of what the colors I probably would use to do the line art, just to make it a little bit easier. I was doing this in paint tool side as well, because it just makes it a little bit easier for me to find the appropriate color, so you can choose this color. I'm gonna do more of a muted version, kind of color the top parts. Oh, I actually didn't do his mask. That's what I forgot to do. A lot of it is on the inside though. So if I take this color, it's kind of like on the inside right here. That was like a lot of the black, but um, there are some other areas, so. Let's look at this 3D model. It's kind of black there. It's kind of black on the inside of here. Let's add a little bit of a, a shine. Oh, let's unlock this so I can do a little bit of erasing before we merge everything. Even though I don't usually follow my own advice, which is bad, because I'm often lazy. I am going to go to this layer, and it's already set to multiply. We're just going to clip it. I'm going to pick a kind of like a dull purple. And I'm going to choose some areas to, to darken. But also lighten. I don't know if that will work for the mask. I don't really like how it looks. That kind of helps add kind of like an extra layer of the shadows to some areas that I feel like will need it. I think that looks a little bit better. Okay, but I think that's it. So we're gonna merge this down and we're gonna clean up all of this. Okay, let's see. What else happened in Genshin, though? Oh, I did summon on Ayaka's banner just for one ten roll because I wanted to get any kind of constellation for Yanfei. And I got one Yanfei and then another Ningguang. So I kind of expected Ningguang. Like, literally, I was expecting... Like, my pity is at two. Was at two. So I was expecting either full-on just weapons or it was gonna be only Ningguang as the four star but it was Ningguang, Ningguang and then Yanfei. So I have C3 which isn't quite what I wanted but C3 is still good. I'm just thinking do I want to make Yanfei 90? She is technically my main DPS. Okay let's see. I want to make sure his eyes are- I did not flip the canvas and I feel like I'm not going to. <laughs> I was like painting headshots in Paintil's eye. And I feel like I'm faster at painting in Paintil's side than I am on the iPad. And I don't know if it's because of just the interface or is it like the physical aspect of drawing on the iPad is a little bit different than drawing on the tablet. Something wrong is- something's wrong with my computer. My camera keeps freezing. But, okay, so I'm gonna choose kind of darker colors and put them at the corner of the hair. 
just to create a little bit more depth. Okay, so I feel like his hair is gonna be fairly straightforward. So hopefully this won't go too bad. Skin areas, I hate. <laughs> I feel like there's no good way of saying that. I think last night I said flesh color and that just sounds bad. It's got that darker color kind of into here. I'm just gonna keep skipping around. So I've pretty much finished his face, like the skin parts, and then we're just gonna work on his eye. So the eyes actually don't have too much cleanup. I am going to make his bottom lash line touch the, or the irises. I think, just because this one is. So I feel like this one should. I don't know how much I have to lower this. I'm going to choose a color, maybe kind of like this purpley red. Pop it in to his eye. I feel like it's also because the bottom lash line is not touching. So his eye appears more round and flat. I said this is gonna be straightforward. I feel like I keep changing things and skipping around so like none of it's being consistent. Yeah, I feel like there's not too much to talk about in terms of the art process. Cause I feel like I explain this a lot of how I usually go about cleaning this up. Some of these lines are looking very pale and a little shaky. Some of them I will leave. Some of these ones look a little weird. hair looks really light on this side. Okay, let's kind of change this plan a little bit and make this all lighter. It shouldn't be in this side that has the light. It should be this side, right? If I think about it, this should be the edge that's exposed to light. else because the hair is covering this part of the mask It'll make it easier for me to just paint over top I just have to be careful of not making too many mistakes over top too bad I do want to make this a little bit brighter we could probably use this color actually I think it's always fun to pick and choose colors that are already present in the piece so I can choose like from his hair color so you can kind of make this a lot brighter Okay, now that the mask looks nice. Where's all my pencil? I'm gonna add a little bit. On this side. And we're gonna have to clean up, so I'm just gonna clean up this back part. Put one strand kind of sticking out, Pick the dark color to kind of outline it. Put in his eyebrows. I just noticed his eyebrows will not be even. So let's kind of erase this. Keep his hair fairly simple. I keep seeing 
That was gonna change. And clean up some stuff. I might, I might have cut it out. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best to keep this simple just because he does have a, a lot going on with his hair going in a lot of different directions, but. So I'm not changing the line art color too much. A lot of it looks more consistent, which might flatten the drawing, so I should try to vary it up a little bit. Okay, let's see. Just, I think the final stretch, and I think it's just mostly this area. As I say, as I touch up a different area. <laughs> Okay, let's do a little bit of his face right here because it's bothering me. I almost when I was like coloring it upside down, I was like, is that is that like a full streak of his hair? Because if it is, it looks weird. I never really talked about this, but my neighbors, their weed situation in their garden, not in their garden, just like in their lawns and stuff, like in the front part of their house, is gone crazy. And it got to the point, like, because we never had weeds in the front part of our house because there's like a bunch of rock, like tiny little pebbles and rocks that sit on top of where, I guess, supposedly where grass would be. And it kind of separates like our driveways. And we never had weeds before, even like with our previous two neighbors, there was never an issue. And then one day, like, I don't go out that often because obviously stuff, right? Even though I am fully... I am done. And I went out. And there was like a whole bunch of weeds on our side. And I'm like, where are these coming from? Because like, we never get weeds here. So I went to check. And it was all coming from my neighbor's side. So I took time to weed our side. Because I don't want to trespass to their side to pull it out. And they came out fairly easily. I think it's because they couldn't root themselves into the rocks as properly. It was stupid. So like, literally the first weed that I pulled out, I was like, I pulled it and it snaps in half because it's too, it's too tall and I guess I was pulling too high. So I was like, ah oh, darn, like these weeds are going to be so hard to deal with because they take a while to pull out. And I don't have like a little trawl thing anymore. I don't know where it went. I think my dad was the last one who used it, but I don't know where they went. So like it's I couldn't dig them out. But then I pulled at the base of it and it snaps again. I'm like, are you kidding me? But then I found other ones. And then I started to pull out and all of them came out easily. It's literally like the first weed that I decided to like to touch and to pull out. That was hard to deal with. Every other one came out like super smoothly, like I could pull them out with one hand. But the other one, like, I fell on my butt because I pulled so hard and then it just snaps. Like, if you told me the English for Goro and, uh, Toma swapped, I wouldn't be surprised. Because I feel like it would have worked the other way around, too. I'm only familiar with the English and the Japanese, like, Japanese seiyus and English voice actors. I'm not too familiar with Korean or the Chinese. But I do like a lot of the Chinese voice acting. And like before when me and my brother first played Genshin, we would turn on the Chinese. Um, the Chinese version with the English subs to see if my parents would pick up on anything. And then question us why we're playing something in Chinese when we have no idea what they're saying. Because we only know Cantonese. I think I talked about this in a different video, but I find it easier to do fingers by doing the planes. Sometimes it makes more sense. Also, I wonder if Signor- like Signora- Signor- Sing- Sing- Eh? Signora- Sing- why can't I say her name? Signora? I wonder if she's an Inazuma. And that works okay. So, 
I didn't clean everything up. What am I talking about? <laughs> kind of the patterning on his clothing. This is like a bunch of different variations of gray. <laughs> I'm gonna fill in this side. So I'm gonna lower this color. Because he has like a dark band on the edge of his... What do you call that? The, the part of your... like a blazer a jacket. The little flaps. Didn't like touch up his face too much. Like uh, his actual face shape. So there's definitely some stuff I should- I'm kinda missed. Kinda need a shadow for this piercing too. Is that black or red? It's black. See on this thing the, the the different references I see have something different, so I'll just leave that as is. I'm gonna try to swap to a darker color. It's gonna make it darker, a little warmer, so we can kind of have it bend along with this shadow. Okay, let's do this part. I can see that I didn't fill all these in because I can see the background color peeping through. Let's clean this part up and then I think we're pretty much done. So for like the little... He has like a dark red band on his scarf. So I need to pick a dark color that can go throughout. I kind of have to change the values as it moves along. Because this is the only light part in here, I'm just going to darken it up. Kind of like follow it through. Kind of do it like this. Yeah, but I think that's it for child. So we're going to do a quick run through. Because I don't think I'm going to add any effects or anything to his. I think I'm going to leave the background color to match his eyes. So I'm going to go to time lapse. Show you guys the quick time lapse version. I'll see if I can download this and upload the full 30 second version of this, I think. So you guys can get a better look at the time lapse version. It's not too much change from the sketch, just a lot of refining. There's a little bit of fixing for his eye, if anything. But I think that is about it. I think his shoulder is a little small. So maybe one last thing I could do is... Um... Let's see what's wrong with this. Extend the shoulder just a, just a smidge. But yeah, that, that... I think he's all done. Not too much of a struggle today definitely better than the previous version um thank you very much to tears uh themis for sponsoring today's video so be sure to check out the links in the description to download the game or to check out the game to see if you would like to join in on kind of like a detective otome game that has different mechanics than regular otome games so yeah be sure to check out the link in the description and i'll talk to you guys next time bye